That's a very good question. Thank you for that. Um, so when it's the glitz and glam, that's when it's it's all on stage and on TV, right? And um, so in 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 my in my uh, social media, I'll you know I'll, I'll every now and then I'll post photos from my job and I'll see you know, oh I'm on set and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But what what I've noticed is that. There's a way of posting, you know. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys know this, but you know, um, times of posting. Let, let, let me go back a bit. Time. The best times to post in the daytime, right, is kind of like rush hour time. So it's times when people are going to work. So about seven to nine o'clock, if you want to be seen the most, that's the time to post. And then in the afternoon, it's about 11 to 1. And then in the evening, it's about 6 to about 9, maybe 10 o'clock. Those are the prime times when you should post. And on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays, you post all day long, anytime. Okay? Now, the thing is, what I've noticed is that because people see me on TV and on stage all the time, when I post a photo of me perfect in my look at in my boots and glam, I don't get that many likes, whatever, you know. But when I'm in my natural state, when I'm with my son, family, exercising, I get noticed. A lot of pictures get noticed more, get more likes. So, you know, it, it depends. So, as a celebrity, it's very difficult to find that balance, you know, but, um, because it's all jumbled up and mixed together. You, she's the celebrity, the star, but yet she's the mother and the baker and the activist and the, you know, whatever. So being a celebrity stuff, that, that's all jumbled together. And people just take seed, feed off of, 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 of whatever they, they like. But for you guys, right, for people who are starting out business or, the, or, or you know, you wanna, uh, do some type of, of, of a business or something. Um, I think that you have to separate that a bit. You can't just always post stuff of your food because then people are going to think, oh, you're a food critic or you're a cook or you're a chef, right? So that's the persona you're, you're portraying, right? Um, or, or for example, if you like, if you love traveling, if you love traveling. And you, you know you go on holidays and you you post your pictures on holidays and stuff. So people think you're traveler, traveling traveler blogger, and things like that. So you're social that. So I think for celebrity, um, it's it's a whole category on its own, you know. But for like for for the common for you guys, I think I think it's as I said earlier, it's your what you post. So what you portray, what you want to portray, how you want people to see you, that's how they'll see you. So if you want to sell clothing, right, so then you post yourself being fashionista, right? If you are a traveler and you want to uh, do traveling agency or, or you know, be a travel blogger, then you post stuff on, on your travels and, and, and you talk about that and things like that. So I think that's the way, that, that, that would be your balance. Mine, I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah? Thank you very much. Right? <laughs> I'll put my hat on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter, to share with us your experience, your do's and don'ts in order to create our own personal brand. And um, now I'd like to invite Ajahn Colin, Director of Integrated Studies, to present Piluge with a talk about the university's appreciation. lecturers for a group picture with Piluke.
final picture with everybody in the classroom, please.